My doctors never thought that I'd be able to walk, and today I'm walking. I'm from Australia. Anybody one day want to go to Australia? It's such a cool place, and、um, I now live in LA. I'm a Southern California boy, so I only live about four hours from here. And today I'm going to tell you, man, I, I love freaking people out. One day I'm in a car. I'm in the front seat. I'm not driving, of course. Can you imagine if I'm driving a car? They reckon they can put a joystick, that thing that controls my wheelchair. We can put that in a car. Like, how fully sick is that? Like, imagine if I get pulled over by the cops. Can I have your driver's license, please? Ah,、uh, yeah, but it's over there. You're gonna have to get it. Imagine if I'm in big trouble. Put your hands up. Ah.、Uh... Get out of your car!、Uh... I could tease anything about you. I could tease you about your nose, your eyes, your teeth, your chin, your hair, your ears, your elbows, your knees, your whatever, man. I can tease you about anything. It ain't hard, just like you can tease me. You want to know what tough is? Go to the people you tease and say sorry. You want to know what tough is? Go up to the people who still tease you and say, "Hey, stop it. I forgive you." Please stop it. That's tough. I want you to know something: the truth of who you are. I don't care what job you get. I don't care. I don't care how smart you are, everyone. I don't care. I don't care. I love you and I believe in you. I don't care if you end up being a janitor in this school. I'll tell you why. Because the janitor in my high school inspired me to be a speaker. He changed my life. He said, "You should be a speaker." You know what I said? You're crazy. He said, "No, really, you need to be a speaker." I said, "Stop it, man." Four months later, he twisted my arm, and I said, "Yes." I spoke in front of ten people, then another ten, then another ten, then I found myself in front of three hundred sophomore students. And three minutes into my speech, half the girls were crying, and one girl in the middle of the room started weeping. And she put up her hand and she said, "I'm so sorry. Can I come up there and give you a hug?" And in front of everybody, she came up and she hugged me and she cried on my shoulder and she whispered in this ear, "Thank you, thank you, thank you. No one's ever told me that they love me. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am."